Hi everyone, I'm Wenda Marlin Kakerisa. Today, I'm going to share my own experience on applying IMAN or I-M-A-N to practice English speaking skill. Do you know IMAN? Perhaps you don't know it yet. IMAN is an English practice and learning which has four steps to speak English fluently, where I stands for imitating, M stands for manipulating, A stands for articulating, and N stands for naturalizing. Then I call it technique. To be honest, I know this technique from a professor, Professor Dr. Didi Suherdi and Ed. Thanks a lot, Prof. Let's talk about them one by one. The first step is imitating. In imitating step, you may choose someone as your idol. Seek for his or her best speech to be imitated by you. You must imitate his or her speech in terms of stress, tone, intonation, and facial expression. Copy them correctly and exactly the same with your idol. Pay attention also to their pronunciation and speediness. Record yours and before you post it, check it many times. And if you are really sure that it is the best part of your imitating, you may post it to your teacher or lecturer. The imitating step really assists me to practice my pronunciation that covers stress, tone, intonation, as well as my facial expression. The next step is manipulating. In this step, you may use the same video or speech from your idol, but you may change a little bit based on your needs or to whom you want to share your topic or content. You also may use your name on it. Be sure that your changing doesn't change the substance of the topic, moreover, spoil it. Before post it, be sure there is no problem with your grammar. The manipulating step really assists me to explore more and be more creative and more relaxed, of course. Next is articulating. In this step, you will be more creative and be free to create your own topic based on your interest. Please don't forget the previous steps because you learn a lot in those steps. Again, record your version, check it again and again, and post it to your teacher or lecturer. What I'm doing right now is actually practicing articulating. This step assists me in doing self-correction, such as correct my pronunciation, articulating, stress, tone, and of course my fluency because I try my best to give the best improvement by using this technique. The last step is naturalizing. This step will give you a chance to perform or to share your topic or idea directly in front of your teacher or lecturer and classmates by online or offline learning. This tab will test your real performance and skill on talking directly in front of other people without recording, of course. Everything will be tested here, but be sure that your performance is as natural as possible. Before I end this video, there are some tips whenever you want to practice your English speaking using this technique. The first one is, when you choose a video of your idol, be sure that the video has English subtitle. The second, you may use subtitle to help you in imitating and manipulating steps, but not in the articulating and naturalizing steps. The third, taking the video repeatedly will help you to look for the best version of you in practicing this technique.
And the last one is you better focus on one accent of English speaking, American, British, Australian, and learn how they are different. I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Wenda. Goodbye.